Hey, what's up everybody? To get it to work, you have to download and install Racket. Then you have to edit the environment variables in the system settings. If you want to jump right ahead to the part where I explain how to edit the environment variables, please click the timestamp in the description below. Alright, so what I did is I opened up another tab. I typed download Racket. Okay. Click on the first link. Now you're going to click on this button right here. I already have it uh, downloading right now, so while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and get Emacs. Okay, so then you click the first link right here. So then you're going to want to go to, you're going to click here for Windows. And then you're going to go ahead and click on this link right here that says Nearby Mirror. Emacs 25 is the latest version at the moment. And I'm also going to choose the one that says 64 because I have a 64 bit version of Windows. All right. All right, so now that it finished downloading, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my download folder and then I'm going to take the zip file that I just downloaded and I'm going to move it to another to another folder to another directory actually so I'm going to put it in my desktop so I'm going to right click and then I'm going to extract it click extract and while that's going on I'm going to click this executable right now so I'm going to click the executable, and it's going to take me to a setup wizard. I'm going to go ahead and follow the setup wizard. It's going to install Racket in the C drive, so I just click Next. Install. Alright, this might take a minute. Now that's done installing, we're ready to go. So I'm going to click Finish. So here's the folder that I just finished extracting. I'm going to move the zip file to the recycling bin. So here, when you click on it, you're going to go click on the bin directory and then click on Run Emacs. There you go. That's it right there. So now, now we're ready to talk about how to actually get it to work in scheme mode. You're going to want to copy and paste this file path right here where your Emacs executable exists. So I'm going to go click copy. Then I'm going to go to the start menu. I'm going to right click computer. Go to, what is it, properties? Yeah. Then I'm going to click on advanced system settings. All right. And then, here, let me minimize all these damn windows. It's kind of distracting. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Environment Variables. I'm going to scroll. I'm going to scroll down to the line that says Path. I'm going to go all the way to the beginning. And I'm going to paste that file path that I just copied. And since this is semicolon delimited, or it's separated by semicolons, I'm going to put a semicolon right there at the end of that, uh, what I just pasted. Then I'm going to click OK. We have to do the same thing for Racket. So now I need to find out where Racket is installed. So I'm going to just go to the uh, Explorer here, and then, uh, let's see. I know it's in the C drive. Oh, Jesus. Uh, OK. All right, screw that. Okay, that's take too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna right click it, go to properties, and here's the file path right here. So I'm gonna highlight. I'm not gonna highlight the quotations, but I'm just gonna highlight where it starts at the C, the letter C, all the way to that backslash right there. I'm gonna copy that just that part from the C to the backslash 
Then I'm going to go back into the environment variables. I'm going to do the same exact thing I did before. I'm going to paste it all the way in the beginning. Paste. Then I'm going to put the semicolon right here to separate it from the other thing I just pasted in there. I'm going to click OK. And again. OK. Now I'm going to start Emacs. Now we need to edit the config file. So I'm going to hit Control X, then Control F. Notice on the bottom here, it's waiting for me to type in some command. I'm going to type tilde forward slash dot emacs. This right here is the config file. You can modify emacs by adding stuff to the config file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this text right here, and I ha I'll have it linked to the in the description. I'm going to paste it right here. And this this right here, this line, I'm going to change this. This part here in the quotes, I'm going to change it to MZ scheme. I'm going to click save. Let me just restart it. Sometimes it's a good idea to, when you make changes to Emacs, sometimes it's a good idea to restart it. So I'm going to run it again. I'm going to launch it again. Here we go. Now I'm going to hit the meta key, which is Alt, and then X. So Alt, X. Notice again on the bottom, this prompt here, it's waiting for me to type in some kind of command. So I'm going to type run scheme. There you go. Now I'm using the scheme interpreter to run racket inside of Emacs. And I did it by typing run scheme mode on the bottom. So now I can go ahead and do stuff. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like button or the subscribe button. Thank you. Have a good day.